the hope of a better life following the establishment of a home with their babies where they will also acquire education. The school is offering habitation to these lactating mothers and their innocent infants and was founded by Mothers Without Borders International and opened its doors in January this year. Chichi Josephine reports from Nakuru. <laughs> The country recorded an increase in teen pregnancies when COVID-19 struck. I spent a day with this rather forgotten group of people who now have a hope for the future after getting admissions in Prestige Teen Mom Rescue Center. It is break time for these teen mothers and it means heading to the dormitories to breastfeed their young ones. 18-year-old Rehema, not her real name, just like her colleagues here are happy to get a second chance to quench their thirst for education. I'm a teenage mother, so my I have a son who is now 10 months. I just entered into early relationship which made me get, get pregnant and then I got the, my son. <laughs> Mashango ya kanza kuwa magumu. Halia ni patika memba kwanza haka nikata. Pili tuka korofisha na rababa mzazi. Nika lazimika kutoka kwetu. They explain how poverty and indulgence into early relationships thrusted them into this life. There was some disagreement between my mother and my father because I live with the stepfather who is not my real father. So because of the mistreatment, I just decided to go out and look for another chance to, to satisfy myself and my needs. Then I got into the temptation of falling into, into a relationship which led to the to what, to the circumstance to the which led to me getting pregnant and coming here to prestige for the rescue, as a rescue team. It is the vulnerability of these girls that are St. Gladys Kemonto, Purity Atiang and others work in helping this group of people. Sayi ni kuna wasichana 150 na bado ni kuna target ya 350 lakini cheye naomba ni kuna upungufu wa malashi kama vitanda mattress na chakula Atiang who is the school nurse ensures the babies are immunized and their mothers taken care of as she also highlights some of the challenges facing them I usually go around to every kid, ask them how they are faring, and if there's any sickness, I usually take them to the hospital. In what we are facing, we have few medications, few equipments. Sadly, some perpetrators of the acts continue to roam freely as they are not brought to book, while the victims are left suffering. Because <laughs> Inakuwa ni ngumu sana juu wazazi wanaficha jamii inaficha unakuta yule mtu ambaye alifanya lile jambo ameenda kama hajapanishiwa ambayo ilikuwa inastahili wasichana niko na wao mkubwa kabisa yako na miaka 18 na wachini kabisa yako na miaka 10 niko na wasichana wako class 5 CPC ni challenge kwangu na ni changamoto ukiwa angalia hata mwenyewe unalia tu but there's hope at the end of the tunnel as stakeholders from Mount Kenya University and the fastest growing TV station TV47 came to give hope to this group of people and touch their lives. This is one home of its kind where young mothers are coming with their children and they are sponsored. And it is our responsibility as the members of the fourth estate to see to it that we showcase that. Because if the media do not play its part, then no one will come and be able to support this. And we are going to ensure that the Mount Kenya University is going to deliver career mentorship to you. We know that there is an important <laughs> bit. There is an important bit that we are going to play as a university in terms of even giving you our peer counselors to move together with you. The project has also attracted top scientists in the world and a lot of local and global admiration with great world-class organizations like the UN closely watching the unfolding humanitarian spectacle. <laughs> Chichi Josephine reporting for TV 47 from Subokia Sub-County, Nakuru County.